hello everyone welcome back for another youtube tutorial so today i'm doing a black and ombre set i'm also going to be doing some 3d flowers something totally different that i haven't done on my channel um i'm not the I'm not going to say the best at doing 3D flowers. I'm still working on doing 3D flowers because one day I want to be a nail artiste. So I'm still working on doing my 3D flowers. I hope you got I hope you guys like how they come out. I think they came out very very good, especially for me to be still kind of working on doing them. They are a little bit tricky to do, but once you get them down, you got it down, down packed. So the acrylic that I'm using today is from iGel Beauty. I believe it's called Black Onyx, if I'm not mistaken. I'm also using Young Nails uh, Clear, Core Clear, and I'm also using their Cherry Blossom for uh, from Young Nails to do my... Sorry, you guys. My son came in. I had to go do my mommy duties. He wanted a bowl of cereal. So, let's go back to what I was talking about, about the nude that I'm using. So, the nude that I'm using is actually from Young Nails. It's the Cherry Blossom. I'm also using their Core Clear as well for my capping off. And I use the Core Clear um, as a thin layer on top of the natural nail bed. The reason why I did that is because the black that I'm using is highly pigmented. And I want to talk a uh, touch a little bit on highly pigmented acrylics. Um, those are going to be mainly your blacks, your reds, some purples, some greens. Those colors will stain the natural nail bed. So it's always good to go ahead and take a thin layer of clear acrylic and apply it to the natural nail bed before applying the uh, acrylic, the color of the acrylic. The the reason why, I mean, you really don't want to have a nail that's stained. So it's always good to protect your client's nails as much as possible. So that's the reason why I'm, I, um, I laid down, I already had laid down my clear acrylic before I applied the black. Um, also, when it comes to using pigmented colored acrylics is always good to make sure you use a clear acrylic over it because most colored acrylics are kind of on the weaker side so to build up a good structure and good strength is definitely good to use a clear acrylic after applying the colored acrylic and another thing last thing that I feel like should be mentioned and is important that I had to learn um, just from trial and error is that if you're using something like a black or a red that's highly pigmented and you're going to go back in with an ombre, your nude, it's always good to have a side of a cl uh, clean monomer. It's always good to have a side of clean monomer, so that way you can use that clean monomer to apply your nude, your nude to do your uh, blending of your ombre. <music>
always good to start off with a small bead. I should have done a smaller bead when I did my pinky. And honestly, I felt like I kind of messed up right there because my bead should have been smaller. But the blending and everything, it actually came out okay. But I do suggest when you're doing ombre, work with smaller beads to reduce any type of bulkage. Um, you don't want the nail to be too bulky at the top, but you do want to build the apex. Because her nails were more on the longer side, it was kind of okay for me to have a, a, a bigger apex, especially once I did my filing. Everything came out smooth. It came out right. It was greatly structured. So if you have good filing technique and good filing skills, You'll still be okay, but it is good when you're using, when you're doing, I'm sorry, when you're doing ombre to use smaller beads to do your ombre with and work with your ombre.
the view of my phone so that way you guys can really see what I'm doing when I'm doing my 3D flowers. The brush that I'm using is a sculpting brush. I think it's the three millimeter sculpting brush. I'm gonna drop the link down in the description if you guys would like to purchase this brush. I really like this brush when it comes to sculpting um, 3D flowers. It works very well. Also, I'm using the Core White from Young Nails. I feel like this one works a lot better. It does not set too fast or too slow for you to be able to sculpt, especially if it's your first time you're trying to do 3D flowers, this is the acrylic to use. It doesn't set too fast, it doesn't set too too slow, and always, you guys, let the acrylic kind of sit for a few seconds before you start to do your sculpting. Now, all you have to do is mainly just kind of in your mind think of a flower how would a flower be shaped and you just want to kind of shape it in that form the way your mind is thinking of the flower and that's how I'm just doing it basically from just a thought process of how do I want the flower petals to be
Okay, so if you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be doing a giveaway. Once I hit 500 subscribers, I'm already getting ready to order things. And I will be coming with another video just to let you guys know what's actually in each box. I'm doing a giveaway. I'm giving away two starter kits for two people. Um, remember you guys that practice does not make for perfection and makes for improvement. I will talk to y'all in the next video. I love y'all. Bye.